Three years after Venom, Bullet For My Valentine is back to take the world by storm with their 2018 album, Gravity. God, this album sucks. I can't remember when I reviewed Venom if I had mentioned this in that review, and I probably did, but if you want a battle, you've got a war. That song sucks. I'm just throwing that out there in case I didn't say it in that review. So with Gravity, Bullet For My Valentine continued their trend of being a radio-friendly rock band. They started this with Fever, went full on with it with Temper Temper, and disguised it under some screams and heavier guitars in Venom. An album I did give a favorable review, but as time went on, I definitely liked the album less and less. I still think it's okay for what it is, a lazy radio-friendly rock album. But it's certainly not as good as I thought it was back when I first heard it. Side note, I actually listened back to part of my Venom review and cringed at how positive I was towards that album. It's still not bad, but certainly not as good as I gave it credit for. And now with Gravity, we've got the same thing going here, except they decided to do a softer variant on Radio Friendly Rock. So kind of the opposite of Venom. There are only a couple songs on here that are actually heavier. Everything else is super soft. And I know what somebody's going to say. Oh my god, you don't like this because it's soft. Soft doesn't necessarily mean bad. An album I can think of I've always loved is Rush's Hold Your Fire, which is one of their 80s albums. That album was super soft. Probably the softest album I own. But that album at least had good lyric writing, good melodies. The keyboards were interesting, and of course you had Neil Peart on drums, so you knew the drum work was going to be awesome. I still do feel like, even to this day, that album could be heavier. I would have liked more heavier parts in that album. But overall, that album is still really good, and it's a soft album. So soft doesn't necessarily mean bad. There are plenty of softer songs that I do enjoy by bands. The problem with this album is... It's so generic and boring. Everything is super predictable. The song structures are mostly verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, which I guess for a radio-friendly rock band makes sense. It's just, I don't know, I feel like this band at one time was capable of more than this. Maybe now they're not. I mean, The Poison did come out in, what, 2005, maybe? Six? Not really sure. I'm going to say 2005, and that's 13 years ago, so maybe now they're not capable of doing more than this. There are only two somewhat heavier songs, and even they have this radio-friendly rock stink to them. The whole album has an artificial feel to it. Matt's voice sounds very auto-tuned. I'm guessing he can't sing anymore, if he ever really could. And if you have to use auto-tune in order to make yourself sound passable to record an album, then you really should just give it up. The music is boring as shit. Most of the verses focus on, obviously, the vocals and some sort of a generic beat. I've noticed in Leap of Faith and something again, I want to say Begin Again or something like under again i I don't even remember the two songs had the same exact beat at least that's how it sounded to me then you get a catchy chorus there's honestly nothing good i can say about this album everything is just so generic and boring you might notice i've spent more of this review talking about other albums venom by this band and hold your fire by rush than i have this actual album that's because there's really not a whole lot to say about it And there's generally not one thing good I can think of to say about this album. There's not one song that I enjoy. They do an acoustic song, but even it feels hollow and empty. They try to throw atmosphere into that song. There's some background ambience and some acoustic guitar, which that can work really well if done right. But it just comes off fake, much like this album. And even the heavier songs, which I think there's like two of them, still just have that artificial feel to them. And I can't stand the drum work on this album. It has a very generic feel to it, just like everything else. And this album's just very generic and boring. And rather than just keeping on repeating myself, if you pick any aspect of this album, vocals, guitars, which there's not really much guitar on this album, except maybe in the choruses, drums, 
bass, I'll go ahead and say any electronic elements. Everything about this album is just artificial and generic. The absolute worst thing about this album is it's so bad, I couldn't even make it through one single song in its entirety. I tried twice to listen to this album and could not make it through even one song. And I know some people might say, oh, well, you can't judge an album unless you've heard it through in its entirety multiple times. Normally, I agree with you. If you're talking about progressive metal or rock, if you're talking about bands that have some sort of complexity to their music, it takes a lot to digest the album that they put out. There's a lot of things you're not going to really notice on the first listen that you might pick up on sometimes even years down the road. That's not the case with this album. This album, you know exactly what you're getting in each song by the chorus. If not even before that chorus. Sometimes you can even predict how the chorus is going to go before it even comes. I'm going to give this album a 0 out of 10. There's nothing good I can say about this album. I didn't go into listening to this album wanting to trash it or anything like that. I wanted to find good aspects of this album, things to like, but there's just nothing there. Everything is artificial and fake. It's boring as shit, and I won't ever listen to any of these songs ever again.